Hi, I want to show you how easy it is to take content off of Moodle Share and load it within your own Moodle environment. Uh, first, when you get to the Moodle Share site, courses.moodleshare.com, you can scroll through the content and decide um, which course it is you want to use. All courses are open to guest access, and you can just click inside of any of the courses to see um, if this is something you'd like to adapt for your needs. So we decided that we want to use this course on our own Moodle site. Each course on Moodle Share has a link that says download this course and it tells you how big it is. When you click on that, um, you'll be prompted to save the file. And then once that downloads, uh, you'll be able to move it to your own Moodle class. This is an exact copy of the Moodle course. So now I'll go into my own Moodle page and I've already created a, an empty course where we can load our file. Depending on your rights, if you're a, a teacher, um, this would be what you would want to have someone set up for you. If you're a Moodle admin, you have a few different options of how you might want to load the course. If the course file size is too large, you wouldn't be able to load it and install it as a teacher. Um, you might need to have an, a Moodle administrator do that for you. So I'm going to search um, for the Moodle folder. Um, looks like writing a children's story. Here's, there's a zip file, so I'm going to upload that file to the class. Now, um, if you're a teacher, you'll see the max file size upload will apply to you, but if you're a Moodle administrator, you can just load those files um, as long as it doesn't go over your server limit. Now that I have the zip file in my course files, I can just go and click Restore. And this will walk me through the process of restoring a course. And I'll just scroll down, click Continue. And now, as an admin, I have a few options. I can restore it to a new course, or I can restore it to the current course and delete it first. Uh, if you were adding a unit to your class, you would want to select the option current course adding data to it. You just want to make sure you have some empty topic boxes in the right spot to catch all the new data that's coming in. Continue and restore this course now. Now Moodle will restore the course over the blank shell that I had set up previously. Here's where you um, look to make sure everything wound up where it was supposed to. And if you need to install teachers, you can click on Assign Roles Teacher. And then you'd pull the teacher in from your list of users. So you can see I'm already ready to start using this course with my own class in just a couple of minutes.